Good morning, photography friends, and welcome to another photography journey. I'm your host, and today we're at Goddard State Park, where we're going to try to find more wildlife, but we probably won't. We'll probably just be very, very cold. I'm also trying something different in this video. I'm just, I'm not gonna shoot in a D-log. I'm not gonna color grade the video so it might not look as cinematic as my previous videos, but let's face it, it's not like my previous videos were exactly Oppenheimer or anything. So um, we're just gonna walk around and see what we can see today. It is quite cold, but that's okay. We'll have each other for warmth. A cold, happy little morning walk through the woods with me looking for birds. I checked eBird and there was not very many sightings of anything over at this park. But I mean, it is a state park so not a lot of photographers come over here. There's something up in this tree right here I might try to take a photo of. I don't know exactly what it is. I can't see it. All right, I'm gonna check it out. It was just a robin, and it was too far up to really take a good photo of it, so we're just gonna keep moving on. Rumor has it is this is the same exact woods where Hansel and Gretel were taken. You are fake news. I just said good morning to some joggers and they completely disregarded my pleasantness. So I hope you trip, fall, and break every bone in your body. How's that? I feel like there could be owls over here, but I don't know. I mean, I'm sure if we walk deep, deep into the woods over there, we might find one, but I don't think I'm doing that. All right, I know for certain that there's some ducks up here and probably a great blue heron and maybe a kingfisher, but we know our luck with those, so let's not hope for that. But I know there is some stuff up here and there's also birdhouses. So, three loud gunshots is concerning. Well, this is the little marsh area where all the birds usually hang out. I did just remember it is January, so they may have flown south for the winter. Actually, no, I do see some ducks out there. All right, let's set up here for a minute. We'll see if we can see anything. We're not really out at the best time of day right now, 
That's why I didn't shoot in D-Log because I just didn't want to put any filters on my um, camera here. Just kind of going uh, easy peasy today, making a quick video. Um, problem is the light's not that great. It's like mid, not midday, but it's like 11 a.m. So, I mean, at this point, I don't know. Even if we do get any birds, we're going to get any great photos. I mean, there are patches where the light's not too bad over here in the woods. So hopefully, maybe we can get something. Oh, it's kind of muddy over here too. But I do see some ducks out here. I don't know. I can't really get close enough to the water. Oh, it looks like... Yeah, they just flew off because I was talking too loud. Okay, I'm going to try to be a little bit more quiet because apparently I'm scaring away too much of the wildlife, which is a total noob wildlife photographer thing to do. I feel like those squirrels are trying to attack me. They're working on a plan in their mind right now. How to take down YouTube's biggest rising star. Oh, I just heard him. I just heard our mortal enemy. I heard the call of the kingfisher. The belted kingfisher who so elusively escapes our grasps. Will today be our day? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna go set up shop on the other side of the pond actually. That way the light's gonna be behind us. Cause I don't really wanna shoot into the light. Uh, and it could be blocked by some of these trees. So probably get some better photos this way. I mean, there are mergansers over here, but we did get those a few videos ago. Actually, the same video where the uh, kingfisher eluded us. Life is a circle. It all comes back around again. Good boy. Okay, we're set up along the... Uh, the little uh, marshy pond area here. Uh, there are some mergansers out there. I heard the uh, belted kingfisher. I feel like this is the same video, except we're just in a different location. And there are some mallard ducks across the pond too. So we're just gonna hang out here and let them kind of come to us, which is not my strong suit because I'm very impatient, but.
getting some pretty good footage of the mergansers over here today. I mean, I know we did a video and we got a lot of those before, but I mean, uh, they are coming pretty close. Uh, I don't know what that was. There was a storm and a lot of trees over here are kind of old, so I'm kind of concerned that one might fall on my head. did manage to get a picture of the kingfisher a um, little better photo than I got at the last location we were at when I was hunting him all day but he was still kind of uh, mixed in and between all these branches and stuff so there wasn't really much separation on him um, but you know I'm not gonna play his games all day and go chasing him around because that's exactly what he would like me to do and I'm not doing it so we're just gonna continue to walk around and um, uh, see if we can get a few more things and then um, my hands are getting quite cold, so then I'm probably going to call it a day. So, all right, but we're going to keep going a little bit longer. I know I said I wasn't going to get caught up into the game of cat and mouse with a kingfisher again, but I can't help myself. I have to try. So annoying. I freaking hate him. It's getting a little darker outside now. It's supposed to be snow and rain mix later, so. Losing light. And there's a ginormous plane going overhead. I have no clue where this path is leading us right now, but I have a feeling it's going to take me to some place that I don't want to go. <sighs> oh yes, the golf course. Yep. It's okay, I wanted to get nine in today. You know, if I was Snow White, I would be an amazing wildlife photographer because the animals would just come to me, rest on my hand, and I could take their photo. The real Snow White, too, not the not the Rachel Zegler one. I should also point out that I've said hi to at least four people on this trail. Nothing. Not one response. Zero recognition. Well, I just saw snowflakes, so that means it's time to head back to the car because you do not want to get stuck in a snowstorm because me and my friend got stuck in a snowstorm once. Blizzard of 93, in fact. A harrowing tale where we went to uh, rent a video game. In the blizzard. I mean, both of us made it back alive. Uh, it was only about a block down the road, but still, his mother was quite, quite concerned. It wasn't even a good video game either. I don't remember what it was, but definitely not worth risking your life walking a block in the snow for. Stay safe out there, kids. I 
decided to stick around a little bit longer because the snow stopped and the sun came back out and that um, stupid kingfisher landed right in front of me but before I could get my camera up he flew off I did manage to get a quick photo of him flying away though um, I'll post that but uh, yeah no it's just so frustrating he really is annoying I really don't like him we're not friends I will not be inviting him over to any of my dinner parties once I start having dinner, dinner parties, of course, you know, how it is. Once again, the Kingfisher has eluded us on this cold, windy day at Goddard Park. But we did get we did get a photo of him. I shouldn't say that. I'm not gonna say we didn't get a photo of him, but I wanted like, you know, the National Geographic photo of him, not the hey, I'm a mom with a camera and I happened to catch a picture of a kingfisher and posted it on a Facebook photo of him. You know? There is a difference. It might not seem like it, but there is a difference. Uh so, you know, I want all my photos to be National Geographic level quality. Unfortunately, most of the time they're, hey, I'm a mom on Facebook who's posting wildlife photography quality. So, uh, you know, I, I, I have to live with that every night when I go to sleep. Uh, does it make me cry? A little bit. Not a lot, a little though, sometimes. But that's the difference between me and most other wildlife photographers. I will show you my failures and my successes. Unfortunately for this channel, I'm having more failures than successes, but it's gonna come. Don't worry, I have faith in this channel in me and most of all i have faith in you the viewers and the subscribers that you're going to like comment and share these videos with your friends and family and these videos are going to have such an impact on their lives it's going to change them for the better so do us all a favor if you like this content, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep taking photos, and I will see you when I see you. Have a good day. Prepare for the future. You mean like a life insurance policy? A war is coming. I'm so confused right now.